All right, so this is the board. On the uh, bottom there is the power supply and charging circuit for the uh, lithium polymer battery. Uh, we have a small uh, 128 by 32 uh, pixel OLED display. There's a spot for an SD card, uh, which I've not soldered on yet. Uh, here we have the uh, Mega 328, a spot for the GPS module, and uh, then the solder connections for the OLED board. Uh, we've got some uh, pen headers for uh, programming and also for UART, which plugs right into the SparkFun uh, FTDI breakout. Uh, right there in the middle, uh, there's a little P-channel MOSFET. Uh, that's to turn on and off the uh, peripherals so that when it goes into sleep mode, there's no um, current flowing uh, uh, to the uh, GPS and OLED and uh, SD card. It's just to uh, save battery. I don't ever want to be in a situation where the microcontroller actually turns off um, or that the battery drains down to nothing, mainly because the GPS needs uh, some current just to maintain its uh, maintain uh, memory. Um, so I'll show you what happens when we turn it on. Give me one second here. Here's my plug. So right now I don't have a battery hooked up, so I'm just running it off of the uh, uh, USB, which runs, it's 5 volts, but it runs through the 3.3-volt, uh, 3.3-volt uh, 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 regulator circuit. So got a couple of buttons on the side here uh, for control. One of them is for a reset, and uh, the other one is just to cycle through the the three modes of operation. The first mode is uh, where the microcontroller is actually asleep. Second mode is where it's acquiring satellites. And third mode is where it's actually uh, tracking and logging the distance measures. Sorry, I'm having to do this with one hand. So if I can get that to focus. It's trying to focus on my hand here. But So if I press the button, you'll see it. Uh, it's a little tiny button. Okay, there we go. So it comes on. So it's locating satellites. Uh, right now it says the GPS is off because there's no GPS hooked up to it. And it's never going to find any satellites. If I press it again, it'll go into the next mode of operation. There's little tiny, tiny buttons. There we go. All right, so uh, still says GPS off. And on the right, it shows that the uh, data is invalid. At the bottom right, there's a... Uh, it's not focused, but there's a little... Um, power meter so it tells it uh, how much power is remaining in the battery and then uh, the zero zero that's how far uh, how far it's gone since it started uh, so the whole thing is designed to be a uh, just a distance tracker for taking on runs so if I press the button again it goes into the uh, first mode again which it puts it all to sleep and the display should go off so it says stopping what ends up happening is the display just kind of dims a little bit. So I check the voltage at the. Uh, let's see if I can get a good good shot of this here. Actually, let me unplug it so that that light's not shining in our faces here. So I check the voltage on. Oh, flip it around. The little P-channel MOSFET that uh, controls power to the various peripherals. Uh, check it at the gate, and it actually was going, uh, so the control pin's actually working. Um, when it's off, it's uh, at 3.3 volts. Uh, it's allowed to float through this, uh, float up to 3.3 from through this resistor right here. And when it's on, uh, the gate voltage is zero. The uh, uh, MOSFET is hooked up through these capacitors right here to the various peripherals. Uh, when it's on, when the peripherals are supposed to be on, the uh, voltage right here is 3.3 volts, which is what it should be. When it's off, the voltage right there drops to 2.4 volts, but it doesn't completely shut off, and as I showed you on the other side, the display is still on, and I can only assume that the other peripherals would still be on as well, assuming they could run at 2.4 volts. Uh, so that's kind of where my problem is. I'm not sure where, I'm not sure why the, the P-channel MOSFET's not turning off completely. An earlier version of this used um, I didn't have the uh, OLED soldered directly to the uh, board. I had it going through an Adafruit uh, OLED breakout board, which basically all I've done here is taken the Adafruit OLED breakout board, 
and stuck it right on my board minus the level shifter because I don't need it because the thing's running at 3.3 volts. So I'm not sure if that has something to do with it, if maybe it's getting some current through some of the control pins, um, if they happen to idle high. I'm um, not sure you know, if that can be fixed by just changing the pin direction uh, when, uh, uh, or not changing the pin direction, but just changing uh, the pin from high to low to disable the pull-up resistor inside. Uh, would fix that or not? I kind of did a couple of experiments that didn't seem to help at all. So um, if anyone can... Uh, Help me understand what might be going on here. I'd really appreciate it. I've posted the uh, uh, schematic and board files online, uh, or at least a link to the GitHub uh, where I have them, and also my uh, a link to the uh, uh, Arduino uh, program uh, on GitHub. So there's my problem.